Hi everybody, welcome back to Andrew's Golf Academy again. Uh, more product review. A lot of product review going on at the moment due to the release of the new uh, Mizuno models. I've already done a review on the MP4s, I've done a review on the new MP54s. So today is the time to have a look at this one. This is the new JPX EZ. Um, a name which for you Mizunoites who go back a few years like I do will remember there was an EZ uh, club quite a few years ago from Mizuno it didn't look anything like this one so this is a, quite a really breakthrough I would say for Mizuno in terms of, of looks um, as you can see we've gone to this sort of smoky black nickel finish which is which is quite a different look from Mizuno so this is the EZ there is a forge version which I will be doing a review on uh, over the next couple of days. So what have we got here? We have got a sort of an oversized head We've got a pretty thick top edge to it, and we've also got a pretty thick bottom edge to it Big cavity. This is a forgiving golf club I'm presuming that this is going to replace the 825 range I don't know that for sure because that's still in the range, but I presume this will take over So the 825 will go and the JPX EZ will, will continue so, in terms of what sort of club you're buying into with this, well, it's fully loaded, it's got a big cavity in the back, it's long. We all know that the lofts on these modern golf clubs are not honest lofts, as we like to call them. They've been cranked, but that's no different to what TaylorMade, Callaway and all the other manufacturers are doing. So, in old money, this 6-iron is really a 5-iron, so it's going to put the ball out there. Um, I like it. I know there's been a, you know... A little reaction I guess maybe from a few people as to where Mizuno are going but you know I think where Mizuno are clever with this club is they are giving you a club which will actively compete with things like rocket balls with Callaway hots this is a nice easy club to hit it's gonna get the ball up in the air got low center of gravity it's powerful get it custom fitted as always go and see your local Mizuno fitting center Get the right shaft in here, get the right length, get the right lie, get the right grip. I'm always banging on about custom fitting. Totally, 100% believe that unless you're custom fitted, you're wasting your money. You've got to get it custom fitted. It doesn't matter if you're playing off 24 handicap or you're playing off a scratch handicap. Go and get custom fitted. I do lots of custom fitting here at my golf academy. And the number of custom fits I've done in a year where somebody comes out as standard across the board is very, very rare. There's always something we're trying to change. It might even be grip size or the lie or whatever. So, I've had, had a couple of hits earlier with this. And I'm just going to hit a couple more while you good folks are watching. Uh, so hopefully we can put a good swing in it. And you'll see what's quite exciting about these clubs. Ignore that one, if you will. One more. That's a little bit better. Okay, decent. A little bit of movement to the right there, a couple of yards, nothing serious. Um, what we've we got coming back on this yardage wise is I've got 186 yards out of that one. Um, just punching a few numbers on the old GC2. Excuse me while I just go and delete that howler of a shot. Uh, hit four shots there. Average club speed coming in at 81 miles an hour. I think GC2 under does club speed a little bit, but not, not much. What have we got there on carry is I'm averaging 174.9. We'll call it 175 yards through the air. Low spin. I'm coming in here at 45.90 on total spin. So the spin rate is nice and low. Uh, but I'm also getting some decent height with these. Um, Total distance in normal conditions, running out to somewhere around about 190. So, you know, these are long. These are distance clubs. I mean, I wouldn't normally hit my my blade in six sides 190. I'd be more around about sort of 175, 170, dependent on on conditions and all the rest of it. So you're buying into a club here, which is going to give you some distance. So. Uh, this is the JPX story, JPX EZ, um, available for the pitching wedge. There is a hybrid, which I'll also be doing a review on, 
which um, for you people who are struggling maybe with your long irons, again I would recommend that you replace your four iron, your five iron possibly with the hybrid fly high version. Um, very interesting club. As always, Mizuno quality, well, is second to none. So if you're looking for an iron which is going to give you a little bit of help, a little bit of forgiveness, then JPZ EZ, EZ, depending on where you're coming from, I think is a club which will really help you improve your golf, enjoy your golf, and let's face it, that's what we're all doing it for. Thanks for watching the video. Post some comments. If I can answer them, I'll be very happy to answer them. And I'll see you on the next review. All the best for now. Happy golfing.